Yvonne Pouncey, who works for the local newspaper Street Roots, which is based in Portland, Oregon. Good to have you on the program um, with us. What is going on there in Portland? These protests have been going on for more than three months now since the, the killing of George Floyd sparked off that first wave of protests. But why are we still seeing protests there in, in Portland? Well, I think a lot of the reason is that Portland was the first city that federal troops were sent to um, to combat some of these protesters, which for the most part has been very peaceful. And so with these troops coming into Portland, Oregon, and Portland sort of being the city that Trump tried to make an example of, the civilians in this city are continuing to grow momentum in this fight in regards to Black Lives Mattering and wanting to see an end to police brutality. The shooting that took place this weekend there, are you concerned that that could be another flashpoint and lead to more violence? You always are concerned about violence. I know many of the Black Lives Matter protesters are definitely concerned about it because, for the most part, things have been quite peaceful in regards to these protests. So you definitely are concerned when you hear about somebody dying, you know, whether it be one side or the other. You definitely don't want things to get, have gotten to this point or folks wish things hadn't have gotten to this point. But now that they have, you do have concern amongst people from both sides in this city. And as you said, uh, the protests have been mostly peaceful. And of course, you know better than the rest of us because you're there in Portland. But we have heard police now label these protests as riots. We've uh, heard Trump talk about them using the same language. And a lot of video coming out of the protests is violent. Does that concern you, that message that's being put out there, that that itself will also further inflame tensions? Well, absolutely. And if you think about it, things didn't get, into the, didn't get to this point until you had counter protests take place here in the city of Portland, Oregon. And now we have gotten to a point where we've seen violence to an extent that we haven't seen yet in these last few months of protests. So you definitely have to be concerned with the language being used in regards to what's going on in Portland, Oregon. Um, a lot of people can misunderstand some of the things that are actually happening or not happening based on certain sides trying to speak to their base. So you should, we all are concerned here in Portland, Oregon, and we hope to not see more violence, as violence certainly hasn't gotten to the point as it did yesterday up until yesterday. But you've got to worry with the language being used by leaders in this country that things can get worse. Okay, we'll leave it there. Devon Pouncey joining us from Portland. Devon, thank you.